efficiency to me is a new language. Um, I was introduced to it by the Automotive X Prize, and uh, today I think I'm fluent in it. In our group, uh, there are over a hundred people that have worked on this team. It's a team that any automotive manufacturer they give their left hand for it. There are very few teams that entered more than one car, and entering more than one car is not just about having a second shot. If one car fails, it's also about accelerating the development process. Um, when you have several cars, you can have one car do one thing and another car do another thing. You can work on a third, you can try with another. And, and the process is that your learning curve uh, is accelerated. You can basically compress time. We looked at the car as a dust-to-dust -dust proposition. So it's not just about how much fuel it uses or what energy amount, but also what energy goes into it. You know, we, we are in this competition with an internal combustion engine. And a lot of people are like electrics against internal combustion. That's not the question. The question is, are you building an efficient car? I'm not for or against electric cars. I'm for more efficient cars. Our car is a whole new philosophy of a car. And it's the philosophy that makes it light, not because we just took content out. You have to look at the car as a system. Uh, they all have the same drive, drivetrain. They have a extremely right on the edge. Uh, Yamaha 250cc turbo engine that is completely reconfigured down to every internal moving part. We specifically built it to be a well handling car. Having higher cornering speeds, higher minimum speeds to the corners would carry over. It would allow us to carry the momentum and have uh, a lesser acceleration on the other side of the corner, thus reducing fuel mileage. I think the, the key factor of the car is the weight. Uh, like our very light cars, it only weights um, uh, less than 700 pounds. Little weight, the car stops in a split second, so a light car is, has got a lot less energy to dissipate than a heavy car. Right now there is a worry with, oh, it's, it's a small vehicle, it's, it's not safe, oh, it's, it's lightweight, it's not safe, and that's not necessarily true. I really feel very safe in the car because of lightweight and a strong structure, and I think this should be the way to go. The most innovative part of our car is force management. Force management is a new architecture in a car. It has repercussions in everything from price to safety to performance to uh, efficiency. The Edison 2 is another um, vehicle that just is kind of rewriting the record books and, and rewriting our expectations of, of what vehicles are like. It has the, you know, the, the lowest drag coefficient of any four-wheel vehicle I think ever tested. It only takes eight pounds to move that car, eight pounds of force. This concept has such power, it's going to really reshape a lot of things. Our car gets essentially the same miles per gallon whether you're going 40, 50, 60, or 70 miles an hour. If we can get to a car that gets 100 miles per gallon going 70 miles an hour, <laughs> I, I think that's a pretty good winner because I can get in it and drive it to California. It is lighter, more aerodynamic, more practical, cheaper, and better handling than just about anything you've ever seen. I am 100% convinced that in the next decade you will see a million cars that will follow the very footprint of this car still has a lot of work ahead, but it also carries a big promise.